Stuck. That's an anti wild camping gate. Done. Food and drink for today. This is a mocha that I made myself, mixed myself. There's just extra powdered milk in case I'm gonna have some tea. And this is just a pre-mixed coffee, three-in-one kind of thing. I got mackerel fillets in Thai green curry sauce, Malaysian curry, rice, then sun-dried tomato and garlic couscous, and the meat in here. I've got four Cumberland chipolatas and then one marinated uh, meat, I think it's beef, I'm not sure. And then, Brewdog Zombie Cake. Not really a Brewdog fan, but I thought I'd try this one out. 5% uh, alcohol. This one's pretty interesting. Jaipur IPA from Thornbridge Brewery, so 5.9%. Ooh. Inspired by the Peak District.
You know those mornings when you just don't feel like getting out of the sleeping bag. So it's kind of like that. I've just been messing around with the camera a little bit, taking a few shots here and there, got the candle lit. Uh, I've got, I'm acclimatized, I've pulled myself out of the sleeping bag sl slowly bit by bit, but I just really wouldn't mind wrapping up and just zipping up the tent and hooking up another two hours sleep if I can. It was a pretty good camp. Um, the wind seriously picked up last night. I'd say somewhere like midnight onwards and it just hadn't stopped and some seriously huge gusts came along um, still happening but really really heavy ones where it was so strong that the um, the wall of the tent like hit you you're lying in the middle of this two-man tent and the wall actually you know nailed you onto your uh, sleeping bag woke you up a bit uh, the big fear was uh, that the basha would be blown off by one side and you'd have to get out and fix it up and certainly sometimes when that when that huge gust came it felt like that had happened so you kind of woke up and you lay there and you just listened for like a huge flap just going you know flapping away and um no looks like everything was cool um it's hard to say whether the French F1 canvas tent would have withstood uh, this rain with this driving wind. I think it would have leaked. I think this time it would have leaked. So it's a good thing I put the basher on. Uh, yeah, I just you know I just knew that the Peak District is open land, and I wanted to camp in open land. Maybe if I was in a woodland somewhere, I wouldn't have to worry too much. Uh, you know, I'm doing this mainly for the view as well. I've opened this side of the tent just to get my cooking gear which is on the left of the camera lens right now on the screen um, and let's see if I can open up the other side flip it all across to the other side and cook with a few oh yeah um, I had I heard voices last night well actually when I went to go take a slash before I went to bed uh, maybe like 250 meters down towards the road there was someone with a headlight and it looked like they were coming up this direction and then 10 minutes later I had voices like not far from here like about uh, hard to tell because it's so windy like if I was hearing those voices does that mean those people were really close I don't know but I felt like it was at least between 100 and 100 meters to down to 50 meters away so unless someone was still on a trail up that tree just behind the lantern um, the actual pathway is behind there going down towards a little gate I opened yesterday yeah so it's loads of drizzle right now um, rain it hasn't gotten very much stronger than this it rained heavy like about twice yesterday at some point I also tested out this new sleeping bag last night. Um, I didn't have an intention on buying a new sleeping bag. This is a Snug Pack Sleeper Light. Um, we just were going to go on a last minute, like, you know, we had three days to prepare a uh, camp for the family uh, during the last half term break for the kids. And uh, yeah, we were kind of like down on one decent uh, sleeping bag. So rushed off to the bushcraft store uh, that was the only way i could get a sleeping bag within like a 24 hour period that's made by snug pack i don't know any other shops that sell them so I had quite a long mission to get to there and yeah, i picked this up and uh, the only reason why i bought this one was because it's actually rated down to like minus 10 i think it's uh comfort rating is minus five and then the survival rating minus 10. Um, i had a pretty good sleep in it last night uh, also packed down size is way smaller than the um way smaller than the Ar British Army Arctic sleeping bag which is my regular one uh, first impression not that great because uh, the stitching is like pretty yeah really really look pretty low quality um, but the price I paid for it was what was it somewhere in the 30s I think 30 pounds something you know which is like an absolute bargain considering how cold it was I was last night and how 
well at kind of protecting me. It took a while for me to get warm, but at the end of the day, I slept really, really well. Yes, I have extra layers on, but um, for a, you know, chilled, not such cold winter temperatures, uh, like for, for a person who wants to camp near and around London, South England, like extreme south, yeah, definitely, then a uh, pretty good bag for that. It's got the typical uh, wind collar baffle thing, um, which obviously has its drawstrings and then the actual main hood as well. Like I said, the pack down, the pack down size is quite small compared to my, my regular winter one and the weight as well. So that's cool, something I'll be using a little bit more often, I guess. It's a snug pack sleeper light. Pretty good, you know, just wish the stitching was a bit better. And that's it. Good foot space and yeah, generally the material seems quality. Just the stitching wasn't that great. All you can see is grass. And apparently there's a huge little uh, stream running down here. There must be a decent amount of rocks in there, I guess, to hold it together. Very cool. So I grew up in Africa, I've never really seen something like this. Ready? You alright? Good to leave you alone? Alright. Cheers. I'll enjoy the IPA. You enjoy the view. Quite fruity. I'm all packed up. Obviously I'm a lot lighter than I was yesterday. Two liters of water less, two beers less, food in my stomach. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna head over to do a little bit of filming on the stream. It is now nine, exactly, nine on the dot. Sounds like a bunch of sheep are coming to come and look at me. Uh, just heading down there to the other side where we saw that stream, I wanna get some good footage of that stuff and then uh, Heading off. Sweet.
So I'm halfway down. I had a slip back there. I may have, I mean this protected me, but I may have got a little bit of a stab from uh, Barbie. And then Bobby. There we go. Yep. So I might cross this, cross this fence soon and just hook over that wall.